And so people use it to calm the brain down, but there's certain parts of your brain you really don't want to go offline. The part that says, don't say that, don't do that. Is that just when, when I've had one drink and then when I sober up, I'm back to normal? Or is this chronic? Well, it depends. One drink will decrease um, in a mild way your decision-making. When it becomes chronic, your life begins to get out of control. Because I'm wondering, you know, if, if people drink in moderation, are they going to see long-term impacts to their brain? What is there such thing as um, drinking just a little bit and being fine? Well, I, you know, I think there's always sort of a dose response. There was a study in Spain that looked at people who had mild, moderate, and severe drinking, and they compared them to people who didn't drink at all. Mm -hmm. Even the people who only drank a little had disruptions in the white matter of their brain. Now, most people have heard about gray matter and white matter. Gray matter is nerve cell bodies. White matter is nerve cell tracts. So if you think of gray matter, it's where the computation uh, is happening in the brain. And white matter are like the highways. And so even a little bit of alcohol is creating potholes. It's disrupting the highways in the brain. And if you're drinking a lot, you are prematurely aging your brain.